views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, and the Astrology Network on YouTube. Today in my video, I'm going to talk extensively on a topic titled Donald Trump Psychic Pickpocket. And what I'm going to do here is to try to explain to you, according to my understanding, how it is that Donald Trump is capable of accomplishing and doing the things that he does. Why he is and has been dangerous to democracy, why he is dangerous to the health and well-being of virtually every person on the planet. And we're going to be talking about his Hindu horoscope, because in this particular horoscope, it shows more specifically what it is, what is this element in him of his beingness that allows or that creates the circumstances that we see unfolding before us. And of course, if you have been watching a lot of my videos lately, you know that I talk very heavily about karma, fate, and predestination. And I know that for some of my subscribers and stuff that you're probably not conditioned to looking at your life that way. And maybe you'll find it everything from offensive to disturbing, okay, when I talk about these things. But I have to be honest and truthful with you according to the level of my insight into these charts and my understanding about karma. I can say to you emphatically that if you have a horoscope reading done by a Hindu Vedic astrologer, that you're going to get as close as you can to an understanding and a template of why your life functions the way that it does, why that it has evolved the way that it does, why you have had success in certain areas of your life, why you have had failures in certain areas of your life, okay? Because as you may not know or may know, uh, Vedic astrology is heavily involved in fate and in karma, okay? So, Donald Trump, psychic pickpocket, okay? Uh, this title comes from the fact that here in the fourth house of his Vedic horoscope, this is the house that has to do with the mother. It has to do with land. It has to do with vehicles. It has to do with the acquisitions of things. Um, you know, it has to do with a certain aspect of your contentment and happiness. But what he has here is he has the south node. And you can see here, I think, that the south node's at 28 degrees of Scorpio. The moon is at 28 degrees and 6 minutes. This is an extremely close conjunction. Now, <clears throat> if you have a chance to purchase the book of the astrologer James Braha, the one he's just put out called the Braha Sutras, okay, 40 years in Vedic astrology. He has a section in there where he explains this particular aspect is oftentimes found 
in the horoscopes of psychics and mediums. Okay? And now you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with Donald Trump? Okay? You've heard me say on many videos that Donald Trump is a tool of the universe. Okay? Now, what that means is, is that who he is, what he is, the life force of what he is, okay, was and is destined to bring about the changes that you and I are seeing that have begun prior to him being the president and then continuing now. It's the main reason why he doesn't go away, okay? Now, on another level here, this brings in the possibility, and I'll use the illustration in the movie Star Wars, of the evil emperor, okay? Uh, throughout that entire movie, they talked about this emperor, and they talked about the dark side, and they talked about fear, and that fear leads to the dark side. Well, Donald Trump is a master at picking our pockets. In other words, he'll talk to us, He'll try to charm us all the time. He's reaching around to our back pocket and he's pulling our wallet out or he's reaching inside our vest and pulling our wallet out. And the bad part about this is, is that it's not so much just the physical, okay, pickpocketing, but it's the psychological pickpocketing. He has masterfully and is masterfully manipulating us through fears based upon lies, okay? Now, the world needs to change. We know that. We know that the Democrats are not perfect. We know that the Republicans are not perfect, okay? I have said all along in the videos I have been doing that my biggest concern has to do with what is the price we're going to have to pay for this global awakening Okay, and if that's possible, okay, if that's possible, because the alternative to that obviously could be and would be some kind of global destruction, all right, which nobody wants to contemplate, nobody even wants to venture into that particular territory, okay? But what you're probably looking at here in terms of who Donald Trump is, okay, he is a being that is able to manipulate our minds, pick our minds psychologically through lies, replace it with fear, and then cause people to go against good, solid, common sense. And this is why you see so many people in Congress and the Republican Party following this really bizarre path of selfishness and greed, okay? And unfortunately, this particular circumstance with Donald Trump and with what we see happening in Congress, it says something about us. It says something about our values and how far our values have gotten away from uh, maybe the higher values, okay, which uh, have been maintained through the centuries through religious act activity and organizations. But what we are seeing or beginning to see, okay, are circumstances of violence because people are afraid that what they have, what they have acquired, are being taken and stolen from them, either uh, legitimately or fictitiously. Okay, so all of the stuff that you see happening that you fear is going to happen because I know that many of you probably from watching the news on TV uh, and from watching me and also other astrologers, you're aware of the fact that something is building and something is getting darker and gloomier and something's going to affect us more profoundly than what we ever could have anticipated, you know. A lot of people liken and use the terminology, particularly Christian folk, about the apocalypse, this type of thing. I don't know that, okay? I don't know that, but I do know it's a severe time. And I do know that it just happened to strike me a certain way when I read this particular article 
uh, in the, uh, the Braha Sutras by James Braha, I do know, okay, that this is important to understand about Donald Trump because many people are wondering, how can he get away with this stuff? The man's vulgar, you know? In some people's minds, he's a puke, okay? But he's able to do that, and it's because of the fact he has money, but it's not just the fact that he has money. It has to do with the fact that he is a part of the karma and the fate and the destiny of the United States of America. And that also entails our karma and our fate. Okay? And it is important how we address that. It is important that we're listening and seeing what's going on. And that we're listening inside to ourselves. And that we're trying to come to some kind of of an understanding of what life's all about, what our values are all about, and how important it is that uh, we try to structure our lives according to what we feel in our heart to the betterment of humanity, not to, uh, you know, hoard thousands of rounds of ammo, buy 15 AR-15s in our home, and believe me, that kind of thing does happen. There are people around the country that have hundreds of assault rifles, okay, when they really only need one, and thousands of rounds of ammo in their home uh, preparing for this. And a lot of those people are uh, government employees, police force, okay? Uh, this kind of thing. We've had another situation here over the last several days when there was a mass shooting. And this is becoming commonplace every week. Every week this is becoming commonplace. Okay. And really the only thing that I can do as an astrologer is to sound the alarm and to help you to look closely at what you believe and what you think to help you to decide, to weigh Okay, how you're going to deal with this particular situation. Okay, because we all want to survive. We all want things to turn around and to go in a better direction than where they're headed. Okay, all right. I want to remind everybody that tomorrow at 11 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, I'm going to be doing a live stream with astrologer, author James Braha on his new book, the Braha Sutras, A Lifetime in Vedic Astrology, and <clears throat> I encourage you to be a part of that live stream because the amount of wealth of information in that book is astounding, and it is going to enrich your understanding of astrology. It's going to enrich your understanding of life. Uh, it's going to, if you're an astrologer, help you to understand more the challenges and difficulties of the work that you do it is worth it and this will give you a chance to interact uh, James and I will be of course on screen chatting back and forth but there'll be a chat window in which everybody and anyone that wants to ask questions can and I'll try to address that with James so that he can can enter into that or answer those questions okay so again, the title of this particular video is Donald Trump, Psychic Pickpocket. Remember this, he's exploiting fear. He's exploiting fear, and unfortunately, it's working. Okay? From the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, and from Toby, our fur animal, our fur angel, thank you so much. Thank you for those that donate on a monthly basis to the work we're doing. Thank you for being subscribers. Thank you for being members of this channel, those of you who have become members. And our hope and prayer, okay, is that you will continue through this entire period of time to keep yourself open to your own guidance and to the own decisions you need to make that are best for you and for yours. Thank you for watching.